So today's Sunday. Um, getting ready for my long run. Actually, this week's been pretty busy. It's been travel week. Um, had to go out of town on business. So uh, I actually haven't ran at all this week. So I'm not sure exactly what how far I'm going to run, but uh, hoping to do uh, at least seven, maybe do eight again. That's my long run for last week. I kind of needed a rest week anyhow. But uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's really hot out. The phone says it's only 82, but it's uh, pretty muggy and it feels way warmer than that. It's supposed to get up close to 100 today. And it's right now, it's a little after 11 in the morning. So um, I'm bringing water, probably not near enough, but uh, just gotta do what I gotta do and uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyhow, this is just gonna be a short uh, video this week uh, mostly because uh, as soon as I get done running we're going south about 50 70 miles to get a puppy we're getting a Jack Russell Terrier be I think seven or eight weeks old so we're going down to pick it up and uh, so yeah that'll be interesting we haven't had dogs since our, our chow died about seven or eight years ago and we had him for 15 years he grew up our kids grew up with him so huh, pretty shaky today so uh, yeah so we're gonna have a dog and living in our fifth wheel that's gonna be fun but we thought we needed something for Rebecca um, our chow his name was bear was a pretty good service dog for her even though he wasn't officially trained he uh, was a really good dog and we're hoping Jack Russell's who are supposed to be super smart dogs uh, will uh, help be a service dog for her as well and uh, anyhow I gotta get running it is hot and I will be making a video probably of our uh, new puppy I'm about half, well, I don't even know if I'm halfway. I'm at my usual turnaround spot, which is a little farmer's market there called Easy Orchard. Um, I normally turn around here and head back that way. And then I just, any other extra miles I need to do, I just add on after I get back to the RV. Um, today, though, I think I am going to go where that white truck is parked and those cars are lining up. That's called Chimawa. And uh, it eventually winds back to uh, Portland Road slash Highway 99, and uh, which is a road I, near our RV. And then I'll run that back home. Problem is, I don't know if it's farther, if it's a lot shorter. Doesn't matter, it's probably in the mid 90s right now. I've already gone through one bottle of water and somebody was out watering their yard, so I asked if they could fill it up uh, with the hose water. So that's what I'm drinking now, but it's, uh, let's see, it's less than half, if you can see that. A lot of it's because of that lid. Um, by the way, I did find my old running bottle. I just couldn't find the lid, so I bought a off-brand one. And uh, the threads are different, so water leaks out quite a bit. So much so, combined with my sweat, uh, I had a water uh, salt tablet in my pocket, and it dissolved. So I uh, usually put a pinch of sea salt in my water as well. So, but that's long gone. Anyhow, I could have as little as three miles to get back or as much as four or five. Um, and it's climbing closer to 100 degrees as we speak. So I was getting a little shaky there. So I <laughs> scooped out the salt tablet that I could out of my pocket and had it. And that's it. We haven't talked about my nutrition that I do before I run. 
Generally, I have a cup of coffee around eight or so in the morning with some creamer that has about 70 to 100 calories total. And then about three hours later, I'll go run with nothing else. And that's usually all the uh, calories I have running. Today, I didn't have anything until right before I ran. I had a banana and I'm not sure. I think those have about 90 calories, uh, I'm not sure. But I'm trying to get off coffee. That's usually all I have, but starting next week, my runs are getting long enough. I have to start having some calories while I'm running. And generally that involves just uh, the goo energy gels is my uh, preference and usually the mocha flavor. And uh, that's usually all I have. Once my distance gets over 13 though, I'll probably start having a banana somewhere along the way. And if I get up any farther than that, then I'll have to reconsider my calories. Anyhow, so I've got my nifty uh, running water bottle, sweat in my eye, the nerdy clip-ons on my wire frames, which just aren't working because uh, my wire frames are too light and they keep falling down. And uh, that's about it. So anyhow, I gotta get running before it gets too hot and I'll check in when I'm done. See ya. Whew, that was a hot run. Uh, the route I took ended up being about a mile and a half shorter than the out and back, but there was no shade whatsoever and I ran out of water about um, two miles left to go. And uh, I was feeling the effects of dehydration. It was my easy week, I guess, so I only ran six and a half miles um, for the whole week and that was all in one day. But I hit it again next week. Right now I'm just hydrating and uh, probably get some calories. And then in about a half hour, we head to Eugene to get our new puppy. And uh, I didn't take any footage while I was running other than the halfway point. So I think I'll end the video with just some footage of our new puppy. So enjoy it, and I'll talk to you hopefully next week with a few more miles. So have a good week, and see you later.